We are living in the age of Aquaria girl. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and y'all thought you got rid of me that quick? No girl, we are back for some more season 10 shenanigans, oh my god girl. So today I'm going to be live reacting to the top 4's live reaction of The Crown and for season 10, obviously Aquaria, so we get to see their actual reaction to when it was announced on TV, because obviously, like, I mean, it's so confused, it's not, like, oh my god, like, I knew this already, but then I forgot. And then I recently just found out again that basically they film like alternate endings and crowning. So basically, normally it would be a top two, but then I guess for season six, seven, it was top three. So obviously Asia O'Hara didn't make it to the final three on the final lip sync. And so she knew she didn't win. Whereas Cameron, Eureka and Aquaria obviously lip sync at the end and didn't know if they won until watching it on TV because basically they filmed Aquaria winning and celebrating and everyone cheering and then they reset and film Eureka winning and cheering and whatever and then they reset and Cameron winning and it's like girl which I can I can understand in the sense of they don't want the audience to spoil it because obviously it was filmed a week or two before it aired so it's a bit like okay like how else are you gonna hide this big ass secret until it airs on TV which to be fair but either way people were like oh my god you're like totally so happy for Aquaria but like I don't see it as like a fake reaction to her winning because she still won I wanted her to win all through the season and she won so I'm happy for her even if in that moment she didn't know she won she then finds out and so I'm like I'm still happy that she is the official winner because that's what I wanted that's why I was so like ah like I'm oh my god similarly it's weird because I think they filmed the reunion episode after the finale because obviously it aired beforehand and people in my comments were like, oh, the Vixen didn't come back because obviously it was filmed after the finale. So I was like, ah, oh, okay, girl, didn't know that at all. So it's weird when the four of them are lined up and Rue's like, oh, these are the top four. Asia already knows she hasn't won. So it's like, okay, okay, whatever. So like I say, I'm going to live react to the top four, find out who wins, obviously Aquaria. And I will also live react to the top fours, Watch Your Packing with Michelle Visage because I love watching them anyway. So let's just live react to them as well. Girl, oh crap. Like, oh, that entrance looks anyway were incredible. But these looks here, Aquaria, given Yuha Hamasaki caution tape. And it's interesting because they finally get to see how it looks on TV, like oh, no, obviously the they were the doing it physically way. themselves, but now it's like Swerve. snake on the rock. Um, okay, ready for the dance break? <laughs> I know, dance, really. Dance party, <laughs> two, 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 two. Come on, mama. Everybody say love. 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 Everybody say love. love. I think Asia's like the most relaxed as well, because obviously she knows she hasn't won, so it's like, oh, this is like a party. <laughs> Although she ha has to watch the butterflies. Turning, lux, stunting, pretty. pretty. I'm, I'm the bitch from New, New York, York City. City. Aquarius just painted right there, that red lip. I love the hoops. Oh. This was this was my favorite Eureka look from the show. You actually text me about that makeup. Did I? Do you remember that? Oh, not you text me. She's looking good there. So I'm still so proud of her, how she did, like, from season nine, like, coming top four, wait, top three. What you have accomplished. And I am so proud of you. And oh, girl, so Cameron was obviously on stage and saw that. Do you reckon the other three didn't get to see their interviews? So obviously it's like, ah. Oh. I didn't Gorgeous. You actually looked like her in the old lady child. Oh, <laughs> oh my that God, yes. Channeling? Shantae, you both stay. Gaggery. How'd you guys feel? Another sh double Shantae in the same season, bitch? When does that happen? Oh, you, when said, you said it was not gonna happen, girl. <laughs> When did that ever happen, girl? Oh, I've missed my chance now. Aquarius, you got it. <laughs> Her first time viewing it was. Oh, girl. <laughs> oh, my. I think the, the stress as well, it's like it's seconds away from finding out if you've won or not. Oh, my God, girl. Asia's like there for the support. <laughs> Oh my god, it's like all over again this time last week. Oh my god. Oh, look at you, Rika. Aquaria. Oh 
Oh girl, I'm getting emotional over again. <laughs> she did so good, like all season, but that that final lip sync, she stood out the most. I know she did like the sparks and stuff, but it was like it, there was a lot going on on stage. I don't feel like it might be a top three next time. It was good. She. Uh, She won, girl. That must be so weird. Like, they've obviously all just watched it as well and found out, and then the winner just walks in and you get crowned. <sighs> Aquarius! It's so intense. You've just found out you've won, and you're just out to the crowd. Like, how cool is that? Okay, that's like a proper crown and celebration party right there. Thank you so much. But I'm just so grateful for everyone who, like, stuck it in. And uh, hey now, or like stuck in with stuck it. in. It? I don't know. <laughs> it is the dawning of the age of what? Aquarius. Well, uh, now it's time to react to the Watch It Packing with Michelle Visage. So I'm gonna go up in order from starting with Asia, who came fourth, and then obviously Cameron, Eureka, and Aquaria. My sort of thoughts on it, based on the whole season. Cameron came third, Eureka came second, and Aquarius obviously came first, so I'm gonna watch it in that reverse order. Oh, looking good in red, girl. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank Asia did so good. Like, I love Asia. How many times did you audition? Three. Girl. So she must have done seven, then eight. I couldn't have pictured her on seven, though, or eight, maybe. I did my audition tape in my bathroom by myself on my phone just being realistic and being myself and not trying to be something that I'm not. We don't want some convoluted made up character that you think we want. Mm -hmm. We be, want you. Be you. And that's why we have to beat your you down with a stick for you to then rise back up as yourself. Absolutely. Because you can't actually put on an act for all these episodes and not be your true self. She's funny. I. It's about to be Asia O'Hara's Drag Race. When I was greedy and doing things that I had never done before and that I had just trained myself was not nice to look at. It's a similar, like, to Trinity Taylor situation, pageant, and then coming out and doing the comedy side of it and pulling it out. Top four, girl. You fell pretty hard mm -hmm. on that challenge. Was that a wake-up call for you? I can't say that it was a wake-up call because although I see my fault, I definitely saw There was a lot going fault. on as well, especially for her to help a lot of the girls. And it was so early on the ball episode, girl, what are you doing, Rude? I I think it was 33 outfits, girl. I had to look at all those, choose my best pictures. Like, Raja did the toot and boot for 33 looks. Girl, that was a lot. And this Tweety Bird, which Tweety is... Tweety Bird, okay. If so not when she came out that, I was like... From this season, one of my favorites from all It wasn't, like, oh, my you. favorite. But I get it when she sold it and she was like, Ugh. it was good and the, the beak and it was good, okay? I just, on a first viewing, you have like the opinion and like I was just blown away by Aquaria too much that it was like, okay. It was all there and this Thank is going to be talked about Thank for many you. years I'm to so come. I'm so excited that you remember all of that. I, because it was flawless. Thank you. And I don't Thank get to you. say that yeah, often. Thank you very because much. I am a picky bitch, but there's a reason for it. And I want to see you go as far as you can take this, you know? I think everybody comes into this experience terrified of you. <laughs> and from yeah. day yeah, girl. one, even though you may be saying that you don't like something, it is so apparent that everything that you say comes from a place of love. And I think it's so... That's so true. She's a judge. She's a harsh judge. But it's there to guide you and to be... I would love to be friends with Michelle Visage. Girl, she was friends with Adore Delano, and yet she was so judged, judged harshly on All Stars 2. Girl, it's her job. So... Kids call me names, try to tear me down, but I have big old dreams, bigger than a small town. Now here I am with Mama Roo, American, just like you. I love Cameron Michaels. She's, ah, uh, so pretty, but like stunning trade girl, boy, oh my god. Oh. Oh, like full on clean shave in there, but with the lips, like oh, she looks so like hot, like oh, girl. You have a career, you're a hairdresser back home. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have a huge client base and yeah. it's going to be even bigger oh, now. <laughs> and you make do money doing hair. drag and you do drag beautifully. Thank you. Um, don't confuse words with actions because okay. 
they are two different things. Mm -hmm. And I love that you're an action person because to me, I don't really give a about words. Yeah. Did you have a boyfriend? I don't. So you're saying, oh girl, you just said the wrong thing because <laughs> there has been chatter this whole season about oh, how no. high you are as a, as a boy. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> really? I don't, I rarely date. <laughs> Girl, she gets four hours of sleep. She's too busy with like touring anyway, so girl. She's coming to the UK in January though, girl, meet and greet. Please. Ha. Oh. I've struggled with it, so I've given up for a little while and concentrated on this. You're allowed to give up. Yeah. You're allowed to concentrate on your career mm -hmm. and, and your drag career and whatever. But don't give up on love. And yeah. don't ever change the way you are. I don't I don't want to. Because it's one of those things. And the like, time will come as well, like Definitely, when when she meets me, obviously. I had people tell me that I wasn't a good singer, that I wasn't a vocalist. So they lied to me. I I just let them get to me, I guess, and I didn't I didn't ever pursue that, and maybe I should. <laughs> you know, I think as we talk more, what this is coming all coming down Girl, to. Of course, she can sing that performance like for American. I think Aquarius is cool and sassy, and I love the lyrics. But Cameron's is one of my favorites out of the four part of that song. I love the lyrics, the meaning behind it, the vocals, just the performance, like, yeah. Your beautiful feather wings. My beautiful feather wings. Yeah. Oh, this one actually, Lovely. I think Frederick so Lee oh, they um, so was incredible. the designer that this was inspired by. I think it's almost a replica of that, of that feather gown. You know, for somebody who doesn't do drag full time, there was a lot of thought and a lot of money put into your There was a lot of money in these. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I, I have doubted it for a long time, I am a star and I, yeah. I want to be a star Hell and I need to just yay. own it and stop second guessing Girl. it and knowing that talking about it doesn't mean that I'm, a, I'm bragging or I'm boasting. I just, I need to own it at this point. Allow the world to love you. Allow us in because oh, I love you. Do. I know who loves you. Everybody watching loves you. You're here in the top four. You didn't get there by chance. <laughs> no, I didn't. And also, can I just say really quickly as well, like Cameron, it's obviously like touring, they're all doing tours and stuff, but Cameron says she gets like four hours of sleep and like hardly any time to do anything and touring and stuff. And all throughout the season and like recently she's been like liking a lot of my like Instagram pictures and videos like relating to the drag race and stuff. So I'm like, girl, like thank you like just for taking the time out of like busy schedule to be like scrolling through Instagram and liking things. So I'm just like, not bragging, but I'm just like, wow, like that's so like nice. like. Oh my god. Give it up for the big girl. We were just kikiing about how deflated your outfits look back there. Yeah, I know. Just Macy's <laughs> oh. <laughs> Waiting to get some plus size mannequins. Oh, no. Congratulations plus size to you. mannequins. Home run! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Trixie Mattel. You were probably never that boy that the world thinks a boy should be. Right. And it, from the sounds of it, your mom was the one who said, that's okay. Yeah. I love you for who you are. You are extra special, extra amazing, and uh, final four in RuPaul's Drag Race. I can't believe it. That was hair that I thought you all would be like, oh, this is something new and different on Eureka. This is a whole new best drag, Eureka. No, that's not who Eureka yeah, is. You know? That's really also not your best drag. Well, and I should have had the biggest <laughs> piece of hair in the world on, because that's what Eureka would have done. Yeah. I could have made this cat suit my best drag if it was Eureka. Right. You know? We have your Eureka look for the finale, which mm -hmm. wowed us. You loved it? Oh, my God. It was oh, amazing. So it was Eureka! Amazing. What I wanted to do was I wanted to touch you on the fact it. that when I left, I said, Eureka, you found it, and you'll find it again. And a lot of the fans were unclear on what that meant. So I said, well, let me just spell it out for the world. I love that. <laughs> Think as well, she had like, with being in season nine, it was like, how is she gonna do? Is she gonna do well? Often they would come back and might not do as well. Like Cynthia Lee Fontaine did better in nine than eight, but still didn't go all the way. Faramon was like, she's gonna go all the way, no. And Trinity Taylor's like, and I still hope you lose season 10, girl. But still, like, top three, girl. Incredible. An advantage and a disadvantage because you knew what it was like. You've been standing on that main stage before. You knew the kind of amount of time that you have uh -huh. to get ready for a challenge or lack thereof. Yeah. And there was that. But the disadvantage is you had too much time to think about it. Exactly. You had too much time to she get in your head. Yeah, so you had right. too much time Panic. to think, oh, on the shit like, they asked me about shit, for a reason. What am I yeah. going to do? But then also prepare the outfits ready. So I do want to call it resentment for, to myself. I, I resented my body in a way. I resented, I felt like when it happened that my body gave out on me, that um, it was something that I had done and that I ruined my chance. 
Girl, it was just a stupid cheerleading challenge. I don't think they should be doing any more physical... Well, they did jumps and splits and everything anyway, but like... She did that many like jump um, splits on the finale anyway, but... Yeah, I mean, that cheerleading challenge... I'm just built big. Well, you're I, tall. I am tall. How tall are you? Um, I'm 6'4". Yeah, that's freaking tall. Wow. That's pretty tall. Wow, okay. Yeah. I, wow. I'm like 6'1". Six, six I couldn't imagine someone 6'4". Like, if I stood next to Rue, I'd be like, hey, girl. It's not just because, oh, you're this big girl that's funny and you talk about being fat and it's so funny and this yeah, food and this Yeah, but you're funny anyway. Right. And I needed to see that. You know, that I can be funny by just smiling really big and being who I am. And, and, and she being... totally proved how funny she is this season on the Bossy Rossi, on Snatch Game, on just everything, the DragCon panel. Like, I just, I love you, Rika. I can't wait to yeah. perform with you. I look forward to getting to know you. I know you have so much Aww, to give. Same here, and I you know give you so do much. as well. That's so sweet. I want to be friends with Michelle Visage. Turning looks stunting pretty. She's the girl from New York City. Girl, give it some height and volume in that hair, girl. I love how Michelle wears glasses that goes with the outfit. Like, it's sparkly and starry. This one, like, girl, okay. Never been in the bottom. Never Won at all. Won three challenges. What has this journey been like for you? Same with Sasha Valua, like, girl. I put out a great body of work that I'm more than proud of. I've become a person that I'm extremely proud of. Like she says, like a body of work. It is like a legacy, even just having the show and looking back at these looks. You've, you did that, you've got that forever. And obviously you're gonna go ahead and do more looks, but it's like, girl. Did being the youngest one on the cast give you any anxiety or make you feel um, like you weren't be taken seriously? I don't think it's an age thing though, because it's more like what you know and what you can do and what you can bring. Because Tyra Sanchez, she was 21. There's been a lot of young queens, but then of course Valentina was 25, but she'd only been doing drag for eight months. So it's like, what is your experiences? And I don't really think age is a huge factor in it. Like, yeah. Your drag mother of sorts is Sharon Needles, and I can tell, she might not have given you a ton of advice, but the advice she gave you. Queendom, um, like, royalty going on right now. Your sense of style is impeccable, especially True. for such a young age. Uh -huh. uh, you brought some incredible looks. This one in the middle is one of my favorites. Stars are very special to me. Um, so when you came out, it was like, yes. I loved it. You know, everything loved about it. it was just lovely. Your hair was perfect with that. With this gorgeous kimono. Tell us about that. We didn't get to see that. I actually Ooh, did not get to share better. this. Dude. My friend Hannah helped me make the corset, but I did all the stoning and all of the hip and beading work. So this one wow. uh, was a lot okay. of uh, time and effort as far okay. as what I put. Serve everything on the runway and that I feel completed is very validating to me. I always wonder that and think like, if you go home first or second or third, you've obviously brought a look for every challenge and it's infuriating to know you couldn't show it. And I know people often do it on Instagram and show this is what I would have won, but it's like to get into the final and obviously won, but also just to get to the end and show everything that you wanted to show, it must be so validating and just such a great feeling. So proud that she won. Like, it's just right. You guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Watch Packing. Bye! Bon voyage. Bonjour, bon voyage. Oh, that is just so fitting. Okay, ah. Uh, oh, girl, ah, uh, I just, ah. Uh, season 10, like, it's such a grow of a season. Like, when I first watched it, I was like, okay, girl, Miss Vanjie. And, like, season 10, I was just like, 10 years. They had, like, all the different drag queens who they brought back. And I was like, okay, this is going to be an interesting season. And, like, the queens just grow on you so much. And I just loved watching Eureka, Aquaria. Like, everyone, blessing Claire, I do declare. And of course, Monet Exchange, girl. I just, I can't, I love this season so much. And really quickly as well, girl, I'm just gonna get these. Excuse my extra short shorts, okay. So you may be wondering what these things are in the background, okay, girl. So, obviously I saw Alaska a little while ago and um, these are just a couple of events that are going on. 
soon. So basically, there is the roast battles with Ross Matthews and season 10 related, we have uh, Monet Exchange, Monet Exchange, Money Cart, okay girl, and um, Fifi O'Hara, okay, get some roast to cook and girl, okay. Um, so that is in November, hey, like, promo right here. And then we also have Bam! Miss Vanji is coming to the UK. So, I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be in Scotland in August when they come to Newcastle. So I'm like, girl, I don't even get a go to the meet and greet. Uh, I love Alexis Mateo as well. She's one of my favourites from season three. And on the back of this is also the Aja Finish Her Tour, which will have already been by the time I upload this video. It's on the 21st of July in Newcastle, which is like the Pride weekend. So that would be really cool. Like, I'm not going to end up going to that. But, girl, Miss Vangy. And I know that Aquaria and Cameron are coming to the UK later on in the year. I think Cameron is January next year and Aquaria might be November. So... I'll be looking out for tickets, girl. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And let me know in the comments below what you thought of the actual final live reaction. Like, oh, girl. And they didn't even show the butterfly thing because, like, obviously awkward. But obviously they would have watched the full episode. Like, oh, my God, girl. So awkward. Congratulations to Aquaria. We are living in the dawning of the age of Aquaria. Until next year for season 11. Oh, my God. Aquaria gets to come back for the final and bring the crown out like Sasha Velour did this year. <sighs> girl. But, yeah, I love watching the Watchy Packing as well because it gets to, it's like a post-season after it's all finished interview and you get to see a look back at it and spill all the tea and oh, I, I love Michelle Visage as well. So anyway, it's just been so much fun watching these and yeah. So I will see you next week for another video. Stay tuned for some more Drag Race stuff to come. Okay, so thank you all for watching. Bye guys. Stun featuring Gia Gunn. Absolutely. What's inside here? Ah. Oh. Doesn't she just look so pretty? Okay. 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 Okay.